Hey, what else you guys want? What do you guys, what else you want? What else you want? Come on now, what else you want? I might just do like a side business of like tours, like city tours. They struggle, got purpose, and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next, all I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here we are. It's Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. What'd they say in college? Thirsty Thursday. Guys, it is, as you can see, it is a rainy Thursday. We are getting lots of rain in Kansas City. I see, though, that the weather forecast starting tomorrow is looking up. Sun's out, guns out, right? Sun's out, guns out. Uh, so today, guys, I um, we're making a pivot again. We pivoted yesterday. We're making another pivot today. We're being agile and nimble, and we are running through these puddles, right? We are just remaining flexible. Um, and uh, so today, I was planning on going to strong strange hall strong hall strong hall i gotta i gotta figure that out guys i gotta figure that out i gotta figure out how you pronounce it uh because it's definitely a fantastic place and i know how to pronounce bossa bossa i was gonna go to bossa bossa today and get uh some chicken from them uh and spend some time there but guys it's raining and they got a fantastic outside patio area and I just want to I want to do it proper I want to do it proper and uh, I just don't want to run in and get the food and then run out so we are pivoting today uh, today is national uh, hamburger day and uh, that's right our vote for uh, favorite hamburger place in Kansas City, second favorite restaurant in KC, Westport Flea Market, y'all. You gotta get down there, you gotta get down there. All right, y'all, it's National Hamburger Day, and our vote is Westport Flea Market. You guys, one of our favorite restaurants in KC, go check them today, go check them. Uh, but today, we're gonna just call it. We're not going to. Uh, we're not gonna go eat. We're not gonna get coffee. We're not gonna do any of that. Um, I do want to talk to you about a couple things, though. I do want to talk to you about a couple things. So we're just gonna spend some time together. We're gonna spend some time together. Uh, here, are just uh, a couple things. First things first. One of the things uh, that I want to talk to you about is this idea of self-awareness. Self-awareness, in fact, I've been speaking about self-awareness for lots of years. It's uh, what I would call a super skill. There's only four or five super skills. Um, so you just like key skills that you got, I believe you just gotta have. And um, I think self-awareness is one of those super skills. Uh, in fact, I um, I talked about self-awareness in the first episode of Ask Midwest Anxiety when I was at Prairie Fire. What was that? That was in February of 2017. One skill that I would give you and I'd give everyone is self-awareness. I tell you, self-awareness, I think, is the number one super skill Self-awareness, if you can be self-aware, I think it's a great way to hack life and hack happiness. Just being totally self-aware of yourself, being aware of your thoughts and just your thinking patterns, being aware of your feelings and just how you feel, being aware of your behaviors and how you act in situations and understanding both your struggles and your strengths, your strengths and your struggles. Yeah. Uh, 
but self-awareness is playing out for me again today guys I've actually gotten a lot better at this as I oh I've got my one life shirt on today not the JBU as I JBU guys as I just be me as I just be you right as you just be you uh, self-awareness has gotten a lot better for me over the years over the last several years I would say I've doubled down on self-awareness in the last year really as I've connected with myself more and gotten to know myself better um, and so today 2000 Randy of 2016 Randy of 2015 Randy of 2018 he would I, I would have tried to squeeze in all this stuff I would have tried to squeeze in all this stuff partly because I wanted to give you a good experience and you know all that stuff but what I find is if it's just not right and you try to squeeze it in then uh, down the road it starts causing trouble and so I've got virtual clients all day today uh, starting um, 2 30 uh, all the way to seven I've got clients virtually online and then I got the feel-good community from seven to eight uh, and uh, I just was like Randy use that self-awareness y'all you use that self-awareness don't uh, don't try squeezing it in don't try squeezing it in don't try squeezing don't try to run in to uh, get some bossa bossa and uh, then try running out and then you know just eating it and, and not enjoying it and no don't do that wait for a sunny day wait for a sunny day when you got more time and you just go in you get your bossa bossa and you you go enjoy the patio and you just give the folks a, a different experience you give them a different experience and Okay, it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions. All right, y'all. Uh, this fits under the category of what's been coming up in client sessions. But also, I think it's just really good for you to uh, know a little bit more about. I think this rain, and I think that pivoting the last couple days is a great metaphor. Big word, Randy. Yes, Randy can use big words at times if he wants to. Um, I'm not going to tell you if I looked up the, the definition metaphor, though, uh, before I said it. But anyway, let's go with it. It's a great metaphor. You know, so you get the... In Kansas City recently, we've had sun for, you know, like several parts of the day. And then we've had rain and then sun and then clouds. Um and you know part of this is that uh, when we have these different experiences like this uh, we also can think of it in terms of different emotions right like our day and I love Susan David I'll put uh, some of the links to a couple of her videos in uh, down below in the uh, description but Susan David talks about emotional agility and I think it's really important you know you hear me talking about happiness takes work I really believe it takes work I don't think it's just something that's given to us um, and I believe that it's important for us if we want to be happy we have to put in the work to be happy right we just we just don't expect or assume that we're gonna be happy and so uh, Susan David talks about emotional agility and uh, you know there's times where we are really excited and we're like kind of emotionally high uh, there's times that maybe we're a little uh, less emotionally high and I don't know we're like happy and then we're you know go down a little bit more and we're content and then under that like minus one or minus two is sad and depressed and then you know we kind of come back up and then we go back down and sometimes we just do this is like a roller coaster right well I think you have to know within a day 
that uh, that you need to be emotionally agile. That's the goal. The goal is not to always be happy. No, 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 no. Or to expect to be happy. Uh, the, the goal is, is to recognize your emotions and your thoughts and your behaviors if we want to just play with the cognitive behavioral model, right? But really noticing your emotions and understanding kind of what that emotion is and understanding how you're thinking and then kind of how do you move out of that? How do you move out of that, right? So just not setting in an emotion and just being fine with it or just get it being stuck and not knowing how to get out of it. How are you, get it, emotional agility? How are you agile? How are you agile? How do you work through it? And that's, uh, I think that that is obviously a great way to just become more self-aware, uh, but also understand that you have uh, control. You don't necessarily have control of the situation, um, like right now, I, I don't have control over the, all of this. I mean, I can't say, boom, stop, stop it right at boom. I mean, that'd be kind of awesome. That probably would be another superpower. Boom, stop it raining. I can't control it, right? So how do I manage, how do I control my emotions and my thoughts and my behaviors in that? And knowing, for me, I am just really self-aware that knowing a day like today, it's not that uh, it's not that you know windows down, sunroof back, music up, shades type of uh, day. It's not that day, and my emotions seem to be lower. I think my emotion. I definitely think I know that my emotion when it's cloudy and rainy and oh, watch out. When it's winter time, oh my gosh, my emotions are just down, right? My emotions are down. And so me being emotionally agile, um, working through that and just acknowledging that we go through different emotions during our day. We go through different emotions, guys. We are just not one emotion. We are many emotions. We are emotional beings. We are emotional beings anxiety that's why people when they um when people say i just i know what to do i just can't do it when they're talking about anxiety anxiety is emotion y'all anxiety is an emotion and and that's a lot of times why you you might know uh the way to work through it but uh, you you just don't feel you don't feel like doing it right because it's an emotion you, uh, it's an emotion, y'all. It's an emotion. I'm gonna drive through Prairie Fire. Why not? Why not? I've got a little bit of time. We're just kind of uh, being nimble and agile. We're talking about agility here. Y'all, I got my, uh, you guys know, I, I love this Prairie Fire here, y'all. And uh, it's a great place. This museum, I love this. I love this museum here. Uh, the Prairie Fire Museum. Which way should we go? Which way should we go? Uh, let's go this way and let's wrap back around. We'll, we'll take a little tour of Prairie Fire. Shout out to old Prairie Fire in Overland Park, Kansas. Got some great restaurants. We've done Dance for Kindness in Prairie Fire. Oh my goodness. We had such a... We, uh, I've eaten at... Uh, oh, Coco Bolos? Coco Bolos? Is in Prairie Fire one of our fave five restaurants? I think uh, number three on the list. Uh, okay, there's Rock and Brews right there. Okay, okay, Rock and Brews. Um, no one's. It's all shut up. It's all, man. Oh, come on, Prairie Fire. Let's come back to life. Let's go now. There's Decadent. There's Decadent right there. Okay. Go ahead, Decadent. All right, they got some great cupcakes in there. Fat, fat, fat brain toys. All right. Uh, Grimaldi's. Okay, okay. There's Coca Bolas over there. Uh, one of the best patios in Kansas City, y'all. One of the best patios in Kansas City. Okay, we got shout out, big Coca Bolas. Okay, great patio there. All right. 
Uh, great, great patio. Great patio. All right. All right, and we got pinstripes here. We got pinstripes. Okay, okay, we got pinstripes. Yep. Just love Kansas City, y'all. Just love Kansas City. First 10 years of uh, my life. I lived in Dallas, Texas. I was a cowboy. Yeehaw. And then uh, moved to Kansas City when I was 10 and have been here ever since. Grew up in Kansas City. And uh, I love, I love being a resident. I love growing up and being a resident and then working in the city that I grew up. I think that's it. We're calling it today, guys. We're calling it. Hope you had a good day. I've got to get to uh, these online sessions all day today. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. It is, uh, I think I've called it Free Day Friday. We're going to call it Free Day Friday. Um, we'll see what we do on Free Day Friday. You guys be well.